There's not much more annoying than having a sore neck whilst you're out riding. Sore legs are a given if you're pushing yourself hard enough, but really the rest of your body should be quite comfortable. That is, if you're doing things right. But if a sore neck is something that you're suffering from, either pain or a burning sensation or just stiffness, then why not try some of these tips to see if you can prevent it. For many people, the neck pain that they experience can simply be from the constant road vibrations that they'll experience for hours on end. So why not try using equipment and clothing to your advantage? It doesn't need to be anything too expensive. To start with, you can try a really good pair of mitts. The padding underneath will add that little bit of extra shock absorption before it gets towards your arms. And likewise, adding an extra layer of bar tape can also help. This is something which almost all pros will use at Paris-Roubaix over the coals, but some will use it throughout the entire season just because they find it helps them. Finally, and possibly most importantly, try experimenting with a larger tyre. This one is 25C, you can go even larger than that if you want. The advantage of a larger tyre is that with a bigger volume of air, you can run it at a lower pressure. And being the first point of contact with the road surface, this will offer you a lot of help when it comes to dampening out those vibrations. Beyond this, don't forget that it's actually your very own body which is the best shock absorber around. Ride it with your arms slightly bent rather than completely rigid, either in 90 degrees or completely locked out. That way you can actually absorb most impacts before they reach your shoulders and your neck where the muscles there would then have to absorb the shocks. Sometimes though, it doesn't matter how much attention you pay to your equipment, how relaxed you are in your upper body whilst you're riding the bike, or how good your position is on your bike, you still get some neck pain. In that situation, it's good to do some regular stretching, so here are three that could help you. The first one is called the flexion. It's very, very simple. You do it either stood up or sat down but with an upright posture, and then just put your chin down towards your chest. You should feel a stretch down here in your neck. Hold it there for five seconds, relax, repeat five or six times. Stretch number two is a simple rotation. Again, stood upright with good posture. You can rotate your head from one side, holding it for a couple of seconds, back to a neutral position, and to the other side, repeating four or five times for each side. Stretch number three, the final one is called the chin tuck. To do this, again, stand upright with good posture, place two fingers on your chin and push your head slightly back. It's basically slightly back from the normal head forward position that most people adopt. Admittedly, it looks a little bit strange, but you should, when you do it, feel a nice stretch in your upper neck and around your shoulders. Hold it for five seconds, repeat five times. The tradition in road cycling has always been to have quite a low stretched out position for aerodynamics but for the majority of riders that's not necessarily important so maybe look at raising your stem up a little bit that might mean actually buying a new one with more rise on it if you don't have enough spaces above it like Dan has here. Now raising your bars up will do two things first of all it'll mean that you're putting less body weight through your arms and your neck and your shoulders to support it and secondly it'll also put your head in a much more relaxed natural position so you don't have to arch it back in order to see the road ahead. When seated, holding your hands here on the bars and the brake hoods is where you'll spend most of your time. It's an ideal combination of comfort because your body is quite upright and control. Because from here, 